Hi everybody once again. What I want to show you today is the Technix Stereo Frequency Equalizer SH8020, which you see here stripped down and disassembled. This is the front plate. I remove the front plate now to the side to show you the inner workings of this equalizer. We have here the main transformer. The transformer voltages are connected via this connector to the main board. And on the main board you can see all these disc discrete ICs. Those are the filters which are implemented via the external circuitry. All the resistors and capacitors have different values that reflect different frequencies. This equalizer can attenuate or the opposite of attenuation is dump. This is how it looks like from the front. We do have switches to change the ranges and so on, to change the functions and every switch has its own light bulb to show you it is functioning. This one isn't working because the bulbs are mounted on the front plate which in this moment is disassembled from this unit. Here is the bypass switch. If it's pressed down the equalizer functions are not used and the signal is fed directly through to the output. You have in the back a switch which, which you can set the LEDs brightness. Only the LEDs, not the bulbs. I can show you, demonstrate that one. Now we have the full brightness. The half and switch off half brightness and full brightness as you like in the night you can set this brightness to your favorite this unit was built in the 80s in the early 80s by Technics it is part of a fuel hi-fi Tower. Here is the main switch. It is fitted, I think, directly to the mains. Here is the mains voltage, and it goes directly to the switch. So when the unit is off, it draws no power, like this. The switches here are very old school. This is all analog implementation of an equalizer. And we can choose between plus minus 3 dB attenuation dumping and plus minus 12 dB. Once again, I'm going to show you the main board again. This is the rectifier, the power unit, and all the other ICs.
here we have one relay from Fujitsu <laughs> and the back of the unit looks like that we have here our input and output and also outputs for the recording and the playback here is the remote control connector the DIMA it is of course made in Japan and here we can switch the voltage to I think 220 on, or 110 volts but the plug connector is European This is a very nice build, very simplistic also, it's just one circuit, you multiply 12 times and do that for both channels, left and right. Only thing would change was the capacitors and the resistors to choose the frequency of the bend filter. This unit is now about 35 years old and it's full functioning, fully functioning I, I would say, I wanted to say. Yeah, it's a very nice thing, such an old vintage equalizer. And I want to show you the back of the unit, I mean the opposite side of the PCB. It looks like this. You need to be very careful while you are dis disassembling this unit, not to break anything off. I mean not to break the switches or the LED sliders in the back they are very fragile the status is made with bulbs 6 volt I think 75 milliampers bulbs and the sliders for the attenuation or damping adjustment are made with LEDs. You then put those knobs back when the front plate comes over this. It's mounted with four screws and then you can just put the knobs back again. Every knob has a light guide inside that hole. It's very hard to see now but the light guides also very quickly fall out the knobs so you have to keep that in mind. Okay, the last time functional unit once again all the switches to work yeah that's all for me thank you for your attention